Join us in building a more fair and transparent future. Visit ParticiaBlockchain.com today. Welcome to Decrypt, the series that decodes and demystifies everything blockchain, crypto finance, and cybersecurity. Today we're here at Paris Blockchain Week Summit, and I am very honored to welcome our first guest at the summit, Mr. CZ from Binance, to tell us about the Binance Charity Foundation. Welcome, CZ. Thanks for having me. Can you give us some key figures and tell us a bit more about Binance Charity? Yeah, so Binance Charity started in 2018. Um, I think about a year after Binance started. And then um, we found the right person to lead the effort to do uh, philanthropy work and to help people all around the world. And we designed a platform that can trace uh, on the blockchain the, trans uh, the donations from donor to all the way to the uh, beneficiary. I think to, to date, we have done 20-something uh, projects, donated about 20 million US dollars uh, altogether. And we also raised many, uh, many funds from our users. And I know that you're focusing your work on the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. Can you tell us which ones are the most important to you? Um, there are many, uh, there's 17 uh, Sustainable Development Goals. Um, and I think uh, initially we did projects like where we looked at the schools in Africa. We want to improve the education. But we, what we found out is pe uh, kids in Africa do not go to schools because they don't have lunch. So we did a lunch program in school, so solving hunger problems. Uh, once the school provide lunch, all the kids go to school. I think that's still ongoing. Um, and then we built a couple of different schools. Uh, we did um, a tampon uh, health uh, donation for the, for the, for the girls. Um, and that was very successful. Um, and then we, did, uh, we also donated to a couple of disaster situations like earthquake in Japan, uh, cancer programs in Malta, uh, and most recently to Ukraine uh, for the humanitarian uh, aids. Uh, I think we're the, we're, the, we're the only company that donated more than $10 million. Um, so we, we, we donated $10 million, $10 million to the uh, United Nations uh, humanitarian aids already. We're actually looking to increase that further. So um, yeah, so I think yeah, we're doing a, or not. We're always doing a number of different things. Um, when COVID happened, we donated to like 20 something countries, masks, uh, medical supplies. Uh, we also donated two oxygen tanks, uh, the big ones. Each oxygen tank should uh, can save 6,000 lives. And we donated two of them to from Singapore to India. They were actually out of supply. How you're making crypto giving easier for the crypto community who is already quite, quite generous when you compare to traditional investor populations? Uh, it's very, very simple, charity.binance.com. Um, people can go there, make their donations, and they can track that donations on the blockchain uh, using the, using the char charity.binance.com website. And you can track it all the way through to the end beneficiary. So it's very transparent. I believe the transparency will, um, will give the donors a stronger sense of achievement. It's more tangible. And they know exactly who they help, which will encourage people to donate more. Um, I think the transparency aspect of crypto has allowed people to, uh, in crypto to do donate more and also the ease of donations. Uh, if you're using traditional banking systems, um, let's say you want to donate uh, $50 to Ukraine's war, um, uh, refugee efforts. Doing that through banks, well, maybe only $10 gets to the end beneficiary, whereas um, the cost of sufficient is too high. So where uh, using the blockchain is much easier. And that's why you know, Ukrainians were able to raise like 50, 60 million dollars uh, that we donate. So I think um, just people are, people are more generous in crypto, but people also, just the tools um, that make it more transparent encourages people to do more. Now maybe you can tell us um, what is the project that you are the most proud of? Actually, there's a less public uh, uh, projects that we do to help our internal team members um, whenever there's issue, whenever there's difficulties, including our own team members in Ukraine, including um, um, our uh, team members in, in areas where there are disasters. So, um, but I think more more recently, uh, our help with the with the Ukraine uh, refugee effort is, I think, we're pretty proud of that. Yeah. We're here at Paris Blockchain Week. Can you give us a scoop about what you're doing this year with Binance Charity? Our charity team have a number of initiatives uh, uh, in multiple places. Um, and also, like even, even in France, we donated to the to restoration of one of the rooms in Chateau de Vassal, mm -hmm. uh, which I think is very meaningful as well. Final word, Paris Blockchain Week. What are you learning here and why did you decide to come? So I've been to France a few times over the last six months or so. Um, so, um, and even on my very first trip here, we learned that the 
um, French government and the regulators here are very, very open-minded. They're very pro-business. Um, the regulators are strict. Uh, it's a G7 country. Uh, they're very strict, but they are uh, open-minded towards uh, innovation. So um, they are pro-business, pro-crypto. And, we, and also the talent pool here is quite, quite strong, uh, given the mathematic background of the engineer, uh, engineering education. So um, even after the first trip, we're, like, I was sold. Like, and so this is why um, in the last five months or so, we now have an office of 50 p uh, staff. Uh, many of them are local hires in France. Um, and uh, we are in the process of uh, applying for the uh, license and the reg registration. Um, so yeah, and we continue to invest in the economy and, and, and grow. And the Paris uh, blockchain uh, uh, summit really just cemented that view, um, given the number of activity here, the number of people attending, and talking with uh, both local and interna international players. I think Paris will be a crypto hub for Europe. Thank you so much, CZ, for decrypting crypto altruism for us today here at Paris Finance Week. Bye, everyone. Patizia Blockchain, infrastructure for the greater good.